one of my very most requested looks is when I have on this faux wing eye look. This look is extremely simple. You're going to be shocked at how simple it is, but it is a great substitution for actually making you look like you have a winged eyeliner, but you don't. The biggest challenge for a mature woman is when her eye kind of flops over or this part right here kind of flops down. So creating a wing is going to make it look skipped. And that's what we're going to try and avoid. We're going to use the Sephora guide tape. I don't have my other thing here, but here's the used one. We're going to use the Sephora guide tape and we're going to use a palette. This is the Millennial Pinks. If you have this one, go grab it and do your makeup with me today. I love this. It's got pinks in it. It's got some very neutral peachy pinks. And then it's got the cooler tones down here, which we're going to use a lot. And this is a great palette. I'm also using a Sephora pencil liner right here. It's kind of a plummy look. I just used that on the outer corner. And if you'd like to pause this video, go grab all of that. We're going to get into it. I have my whole entire face done except the eyes today. And let's get into how I do a faux winged eyeliner that gives a super beautiful lift on mature eyelids. So I started off with Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. I have never found anything better. I applied it with a Sephora concealer brush. This one is exactly like the one that you can get from BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy. Just as soft, maybe a little bit smaller. And then we're going to use today, I chose to use the Melt Cosmetics Millennial Pinks Palette. And I very recently got this and I've been really liking it. And I'm going to be taking my Wayne Goss number 18 brush, which I love. And I'm going to be going into the lightest color right here and using it as a transition. I can't believe I forgot the tape as I'm, as I'm just tootling along on the tutorial. I forget the very most expensive important part of it all. So an eighth of an inch from away from the corner and then to the tail of the brow. This is what's going to give us that crisp line. It's also going to be the guide for us to be able to do the wing, the faux wing that we're going to do with the smoky eye. So sorry about that. I get, you know, ahead of myself. All right, so that peachy pink color, we're just going to build up, bring it clear out here to the tail end of the brow, and then bring it all the way over to the inner corner and just follow your natural brow bone shape. If you have very hooded lids, you might like to go in more of a straight shape. This is almost a straight shape because at this tail, I'm pushing that color right up to the tail. I'm not leaving any space between the end of the tail of the brow and the color. Okay, now we're just going to take, this is a BK Beauty, let's see, 205 brush, I believe. It might be a 202. I think it says 205. It's the contour shader brush. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to go down into this deepest color right here, which is almost like, oh goodness, it's almost like um, kind of a burnt orange. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this color right here into it just ever so light, slightly. So I'm going to go right out here on the edge of my eye and I'm going to just push that color into the edge of my eye out here on the lid. Don't take it up yet and just continue to push that. Now, when your brush has kind of exhausted all it's got on it, now turn it over. So I had it like this right here. Now turn it over, and this is why I love this contour brush. Turn it over and begin to push that color just towards the tail a little bit. You're not wanting to do too much, and then kind of blend it into the crease ever so slightly. So this is about all the color you're gonna need if you wanna do a light everyday look of this. In a second, I will show you how to really make that tail very pronounced so that you can see. But that right there is pretty much all the color you want to put on in the beginning. Depositing most of the color right out there and see that color got a little bit too much of the gray in it. So I just picked up a tiny bit more of the actual kind of the berry color right here. And I'm gonna have to balance that out by putting a little bit more gray on this side and just continue to blend back and forth on both eyes until it's very, very well blended. 
Okay, I think I'm going to work with this silver today. Um, I've always loved silver on my lids, so I'm just going to load up my finger with that, and then I'm going to put that across my lid from inner corner to where it meets the, clear up until where it meets the color of the outer V. So staying more down towards the eyelid, towards the eyelash line, sorry. And this color deposits so nicely. And then just bring it over to that part and meet it with that um, outer V color. Lay it on top of that outer color and then just take your fingers and just gently blend them back and forth until you have a color that you like. Now I do have another brush from Morphe. This is an M167. It's a flat shader brush, but it's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that color, the silver color, and this is going to help me to blend it lightly up here instead of getting so much color. So I'm gonna do this up towards the crease just ever so slightly. Then I'm going to go back in with that contour brush and I'm going to take that color that we started with. I'm going to mix it a little bit with the transition color. And then I'm going to go just across everything here. And when I say everything, I'm not going clear up into the transition color. I'm just going across the V color and then I'm bringing all of that color into the actual crease. If you are very hooded with your lids, bring that color above. Don't use it as a crease color. Bring it above the crease so that it can be seen. And then go back in with your original brush and just buff everything together lightly. Now I want you to take that contour brush one more time. I want you to very, very tiny, tiny amount of the gray. Lift a tiny, tiny amount of the gray onto it. And now just make sure your uh, tape is down and now just take it and just flick it just a little bit and we're making that faux wing right there we're just making that color a little bit starker we're flicking it just a tiny bit we're not doing a lot of blending right here we're just trying to make that little faux wing look a little bit more pronounced now take your original brush one more time and go over that, push it around, and make sure that it's blended well. I'm gonna take a very, very tiny Morphe brush. I'll put all these up on the screen because I don't have my glasses over here. Very tiny brush, and then I'm gonna take the color that is the lightest in the palette, and I'm gonna do my inner corner with it. And I'm going to just bring a little life to that inner corner. All right, we're going to do the magic and we're going to take the tape off and see what we have for little faux wings here. Can you see how pretty that is? Can you see that little wing? I love that. Such a nice look. Now that did take off some of the concealer that we have right there. So you are going to need to do a little bit of your concealer, just a little tiny bit of touch up right there. I'm gonna do that right now with that brush that I was showing you. Now I'm gonna take this Sephora Waterproof Eyeliner. This is one of the automatic ones. I'll just show you what color it is. It's kind of a plummy color, so pretty. And all I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to stay right out here and I'm going to do like one quarter of my eye out here. Not very much at all. And I'm not going to do the other one yet. I'm actually going to take my brush and I'm going to connect that to the wing that I made and just buff it in towards your eye, your inner corner of your eye, but do a very light line and really buff it and make it look seamless. By the way, this is a Sigma E30 pencil brush and I find it completely invaluable for doing any work like this on your eye where you really want your eye to be smudged out. Now, I am just going to curl my eyelashes. I always curl my eyelashes before I go in with my eyeliner because if I do it the other way around, then the goopy, whatever I've done with the eyeliner can get on this eye curler and I don't want that to happen. So I give it about three curls. And then I'm taking a mini that I have of the Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm going to as close as I absolutely possibly can line this eye i'm staying away from this outer part because if i were to pull that down i would make my eye look downturned usually i put two coats of mascara on 
but each coat takes me a while to do so I sometimes will do two coats. I sometimes will do three coats, but I do take a lot a lot of time on my mascara by the way, I used the new Calorie uh, mascara from Sephora. I do really like this. I should show you the brush. It's very thin. So that helps me out a lot. This is supposed to be a tubing mascara. I don't feel like it's a tubing mascara in the way that it comes off because it doesn't just, you know, fall off as you're using it. It has a little bit more stick sticking power than that, which I really, really like about it. Um, but it is fairly easy to take off. So that's a bonus. And then on my bottom lashes, I put the CoverGirl Professional Super uh, super thick lash and this is the waterproof i put the that on the bottom lashes i heard about this from stephanie marie and i wanted to try it um nice for the bottom lashes a little bit hard to get off but that's what the, the waterproof is about and what i was saying is i do feel like my inner corners aren't quite bright enough so i'm going to take that same uh, brush that we were using for morphe and i'm going to go down into this color right here Which is a very pretty color. It has like a green shift to it And i'm just going to lay it down right on top of that other one to bring a tiny bit of brightness right there Okay, so now you can see the eyes you can see what I did with the faux wing to bring that up Just a tiny bit and then I went in and I just buffed it just a little bit This look will lift your eyes as much as possible If you want to wear it a little bit heavier, you can do that and get it a little bit smokier Let me just pan you out just a tiny bit now But also if you want to wear it for an everyday look it works really well for that But you still look very polished. I kind of went in between so I didn't go super light for like a very natural look, but I didn't go super dark for a very dramatic look I wear this look all the time. I wear it wherever I go That's one of my very favorites because it does give that intense lift with the faux wing I loved a wing when I was younger, but boy howdy since i've been older I haven't been able to do it. So I hope that this did help you Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here and I really appreciate you spending some time with me Let me know in the comment section if you are going to try this or if if you went along with me and did try it today. I hope that everybody is doing really well. Please take care of yourselves. I love you much and I'll catch you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.